Well, still to come tonight, could Elvis Presley's favorite roller coaster be coming to Green Bay? Yeah, he said one time it was. Well, Green Bay's Mayor Jim Schmidt has called for a stay in the dismantling of a wooden roller coaster that is in Memphis. City officials in Green Bay are considering the Zip and Pippin for the Bay Beach Amusement Park. The wooden coaster used to be part of Liberty Land that closed several years ago in Memphis. A sign posted on the ride said Presley rented the park once and considered the ride his favorite. Green Bay's mayor called for the dismantling to stop on the roller coaster so he could go down and take a look at it. You know, one of our goals here is to make sure that we're connecting with families with uh, friendly, affordable entertainment. And um, I, I had a vision to bring a, a wooden historic roller coaster to the city of Green Bay. And um, it was a tough economic time and uh, some people didn't think it was the best move. And um, we needed 200,000 riders to do our break even actually to make money on it. And, and we found the right partners. Uh, and one of them was the, the, the Wasmer Group when it came to the lighting. We needed to have that thing uplit and um, they came to us and, and really volunteered uh, their services and we put together a lighting plant so we could operate this ride at night. Well, anyway, uh, long story short, we built the ride. Uh, again, it needed 200,000 riders. Uh, the first year we had 452,000 riders. Uh, it's been in operation for a couple of years. We're well over a million riders and it was because of a strong vision with strong partnerships that uh, has really uh, brought an asset to this community that uh, is something that uh, we're going to enjoy uh, today but something that's going to outlast all of us uh, with our kids and grandkids uh, enjoying this great uh, roller coaster ride at Bay Beach uh, thanks to the partnerships we formed with, with, with the lighting and being sustainable and uh, achieving our goal as a family friendly affordable community. Well, Green Bay is a, uh, a leader in many initiatives, and uh, one of our top priorities is the initiative of sustainability, of being energy efficient. And uh, here in Green Bay, uh, in the City Hall, we lead by example. And um, one of the first things we did was, was partner with someone who uh, understood energy conservation, understood sustainability, and that was the, the Wasmer Group. Um, they, they've helped us in our Parks Department and Department of Public Works. Uh, with many initiatives and one of them you know, we're enjoying right here today uh, with natural lighting and uh, it's helped conserve you know, energy costs for the city of Green Bay. Uh, it's the right thing to do from a sustainable initiative and um, uh, something that we've continued throughout the city of Green Bay. Sustainability is, you know, everybody talks about it, but you know, we as a city have really chosen to, to, to show some leadership and um, uh, lighting is just uh, one of the things we've done and um, we, we just don't, we don't just do this at City Hall. Uh, what we do, we, we work with other businesses, uh, uh, with other residents, uh, uh, we have a, a community effort uh, outside the city of Green Bay. The whole county, we put together a task force um, where we study what's best to do and um, the advice from the Wasmer group to help us with uh, initiatives that we should undertake and uh, with new lighting with retro lighting and and really most importantly natural lighting uh, is something that's just it's the right thing to do and we're happy to, to be a leader in that. We're a hands-on uh, city uh, and we're a hands-on administration as the mayor of this city and I've been mayor now for over 10 years um, we just feel the the best way to to do the right thing is is is, is to roll up our sleeves and uh, learn as much as we can and then implement what we've learned and um, we've done that uh, from a sustainable initiative here I, I, with many things and again you know uh, lighting being a major major part of that but uh, there's just so many opportunities and it just takes you know a, a you know a strong leader if you will coupled with you know community support and the right education and and the right business partners to to make the uh, the initiatives a reality and we've done that here and we'll continue to do so. Uh, I think when you look at uh, any initiative I mean you, you, you sure look at the capital cost but you know it's it's important for us to, to look at these initiatives uh, your return on your investment and really as we talk about here in Green Bay is how is this going to affect our, our kids and and really our grandkids you know we, we really look we take that long a view on many initiatives and and and, and, and proper lighting and, and, and partnering with a Wasmer group and and, and but getting the right partners to help your community um, is what's going to be good long term. And look, I, people get sticker shock on any 
uh, retro project, you know, any building. But you know, when you think it through and you look at the long-term benefits, uh, you know, we're enjoying that. It's only been a couple of years that we've done this project and we get many, many compliments from the employees who utilize it and really from our finance department who's enjoying the, the cost savings. And we feel good as a community about being sustainable and being good to the environment and being forward thinkers.